Using the internet on vintage computers is something which I feel is severely overlooked by the majority of people nowadays. Browsers such as Netscape Navigator are more or less long since dead, but maybe not. Today we're going to be taking a look at a modern search engine for vintage computers. Let's get started. The website in question is oldervista.com. It's more or less a search engine which aims to recreate the 90s internet experience at its finest. Even the name is a play on words of the popular search engine AltaVista from the 90s. You may be asking, what exactly is AltaVista? Well, allow me to explain. Back in the 1990s, there were a lot more websites on the internet created by individuals. Almost all of these sites have long since perished and are only left on the internet archive and the old net. There's never really been a proper way to browse these archive sites or really use them on vintage computers. Older Vista has an index of over 3 million websites, which are archives from both the old net and the internet archive. All of these archived websites are normally very difficult to find, since there isn't really a good search engine which has them indexed. But Older Vista aims to solve this issue by indexing all of these websites and making them fairly easy to find. It's fully compatible with vintage computers, which means you can almost relive the 90s internet once again. So overall it's a really cool website which makes vintage computers much more interesting to use. It was created by Eric from the Eric Experiment over on YouTube. Let's speak with him now and learn a little bit about why he decided to create Old Vista. So my name is Eric. <laughs> I am uh, originally from Brazil, been living in Australia for six years now. I've been into retro computers for maybe ever <laughs> since I was a kid. The way I got into YouTube was mostly watching other YouTubers that I like, like LGR, and being kind of inspired by them and being like, oh yeah, I want to talk about these things that I enjoy. That's basically how I got into YouTube. A lot of those pages are archived in the Internet Archive. And I wanted to access them for that video and for other reasons, just to play around with them. I noticed that it was really hard to find those pages, especially pages from uh, GeoCities and Angel Fire, AOL Hometown, because a lot of those services don't exist anymore. Even though those pages are archived, it's really hard to find them. And uh, so I decided to build a search engine to find them more easily. That's really interesting. Let's take a look at Older Vista and try it out. We'll be running it on the Voodoo 2 SLI PC, which I built a few months back, and it's simply connected via Ethernet. Taking a look at the site, as we can see, there's plenty of links right off the bat to explore. For now, let's just try doing a simple search, though, for a 486 motherboard. I wonder if they were still relevant by 1999. As we can see, Older Vista provides us a bunch of search results, which we can have a look through. But the top one really caught my eye, so let's have a look at that for now. And just like that, there you go. A pure 90s website right in front of your eyes. This is really cool to me since I've never really experienced what the internet was like back in the 1990s. It appears we have a 486 motherboard database here, and there's heaps of ones to choose from. So, you know, maybe this could actually be useful. I asked Eric how I just got that search result, so here's what he had to say. So you have the, the, the HTML itself of the page, and basically that's just uh, an HTML form. And then when you search, it, send a post, it sends a post request to the server. And then with a post request with the, your search query, it does a query to the database, which is a MySQL database. So it does the, the, the search on the database and gets those results and builds the and it builds the search result page with those results. I have about 3 million pages in my index at the moment. It's just one database table. And then I use the full text search feature from MySQL to find the pages that match the search query. And uh, yeah, I return those results to the server and then it populates the page with that information. Well, that's certainly interesting. Let's try out some more of Older Vista's features. Back at Older Vista's homepage, let's try looking at one of the Older Vista highlights websites. As we can see, this one appears to be related to the Nintendo 64 console, which would have been pretty relevant back then. 
And wow, what a throwback this site is. Just take a look at how 90s it is. <laughs> it is taking a while to load, but compared to dial-up internet back then, this is actually really fast. Let's have a look at the news tab, see what the news is. All you need to know is the price of the Nintendo 64 is now $149. Wow, that's some, um, that's some pretty great news. Yeah, gosh, this is so cool. Another one of Old Vista's really nice features is the advanced search section. As you can see, it, it'll provide you with exactly what you're after. Look at all these things you can use. Now, this exact phrase. So, I want to find something that contains the words 3DFX Voodoo. And then for all of these words, I also put 3DFX Voodoo. And for any of these words, let's go SLI Quake and Need for Speed. I really want to narrow it down. And for none of these words, let's put 2Rock, because I don't want to see anything about 2Rock. And we can also set dates and stuff, but I think my search is about as specific as it's going to get, so I don't think we need to add anything. But yeah, as you can see, there's, there's heaps of options you can choose from to really narrow down your search. Now, it had to go through 3 million pages to find my specific queries, but eventually, after a bit of waiting, yeah, I got some pretty decent search results. Let's check one of them out. So, I found this Hardware Guru website, and it appears to be hosted on GeoCities, which was commonplace back then. And it's Denny's Hardware Guide. How cool is this? And yeah, this is definitely the right type of 3D effects what we're talking about. Check this out. It's really interesting to see what people thought of these things back in the 1990s, since nowadays people think of them as expensive cars you can buy on eBay, more or less. I asked Eric how he actually filled up his index with websites, and here's what he had to say. But I have 3 million pages there, and in a, it's just one database table. Uh, the way I filled up the database was I got a few websites that I already knew existed and also I went to the to the old NAT because they have lists of websites there as well. So I got those websites and also I went to OOCities, which is a GeoCities archive and, and also downloaded all of the text from those websites. And then I put all of that into a queue and I built a piece of software that would go into all of those pages get the text of those pages, save that in the database, and then I would, um, any links that it would find, it would add those links to the queue. So uh, maybe I had maybe, let's say, 100,000 pages that I got or 200,000 pages that I got out of that initial batch. And that became 3 million pages because it went through all of the links on each page and then saves that in the database and then it then downloaded all of those pages eventually. That sounds like a really effective solution. That's really awesome. Back at Older Vista's homepage once again, I noticed the guest book, so let's check that out. <laughs> this is so 90s as you can see. So basically the guest book allows you to pick a screen name, leave a message, and then have it printed on the site forever. So Older Vista actually has a few already as you can see. And something really cool which I noticed about the guest book is that it actually shows what browser the person's using and on what OS. So as you can see, most people are using like Windows 10, but there are definitely a few vintage users in here. Such as the guest comment I made a few days ago when preparing this video. I think it's about time we go ahead and leave a guest comment ourselves, so I'll choose my screen name to be Scanlines, and let's say that I'm currently producing a video on Older Vista, and hello YouTube, as you do. And once that's done, all we need to do is input a security verification, which is rather easy and it's not one of those super complicated ones, and then we just click send. And since the site's insecure when accessing from vintage computers, we just have to acknowledge that. And just like that, there we go. Our guestbook comment has been posted. I highly encourage you guys to go leave some yourself. This is really fun. I asked Eric if there was anything else he'd like to say to everyone at the end of our interview, and here's what he had to say. 
just visit Older Vista um, and I hope you enjoy it. And keep in mind that it's still a work in progress, so it's going to have improvements in the future. Yeah. Um, and follow me on YouTube as well if you, if, you, if you are interested in retro gaming and retro computing. Older Vista is, is a passion project that I think I hope can reach more people, especially people who have memories from that time period and they want to explore that time period again of the internet, which, is, which was pretty cool. Thanks again for the interview, Eric. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out Eric's YouTube channel in the description below, as well as Old Vista. They're both really cool and I think you'll like them. But yeah, that's about it from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.